decided to look into the hard start capacitors that you hear much about and um, I thought it sounded a, a bit like snake oil so I uh, but for ten dollars I went ahead and tried the Supco uh, SPP6 hard start capacitor that came in the other day we're gonna install it today so we discovered that um, it was not good for a 300 pound man to get up on the travel trailer uh, we were afraid that uh, even though it's rated to walk on this roof we were afraid that um, at my weight that it might not be a good thing so um, I check in my man card my wife is actually on the roof doing the work um, but of, of course under my complete supervision I have a forest river um, surveyor travel trailer and it has a 13.5 BTU air conditioner it's the um, Dometic's uh, Brisk 2 model. I also have a generator, the Yamaha, um, is it EF? I'm looking at it now, EF2400 ISHO. I purchased the generator with the hopes that it would run the air conditioner. Um, it did run the air conditioner in our previous travel trailer, uh, not in this one. I was left to experiment a little bit with hard start capacitors and so i picked up the subco spp6 in hopes that um, it might help out our solution it's currently driving the air conditioner so it started up um, the startup um, seemed a hair difficult still for it but it's running fine i'm going to let it run for about five minutes here uh, to build up i guess what i've read is called head pressure and then I'm gonna shut the compressor off and then two or three minutes later, I'll try to start it back up again and see if it will restart it. Cause I hear lots of folks have good luck starting their air conditioner the first time, but not uh, repeat starts. And so you can hear it running. I'll turn around here for you guys to see. There's the trailer in the uh, background and here's the Yamaha. It's running a bit above idle. Um, not much above idle. Of course, it ramped up pretty hard. Um, thought it was going to go into overload when it first started, but it, it kind of cut out for a second, and then then it was off and running. So I don't know if that's typical or not. been through the um, repeat cycle a couple of times here and seems to be um, doing what it should be doing so I'm pleased the uh, I'll show you the generator here in a second uh, my son's inside he's gonna start it up on my signal and um, you'll see that the uh, generator seemed to show about half of the overload light for only a half a second or a second and then it picked up running so um, ambient temperature today is not all that hot but it is um, it's at least 80 it's about 80 um, so I'm gonna give him the signal and we will go ahead and um, and let you see what's happening with the generator all righty go ahead And that was compressive. 
All right, so the first uh, the first ramp up it just in a few hundred RPM that you heard was the fan motor, and then it wasn't but about uh, three, four seconds later, uh, you heard the compressor kick in, and it seems to be doing really fine. It's not at full RPM, um, so it's slightly above its typical idle speed. Um, and I don't think I even saw the light that time. So far, uh, so pleased. So, e, you can turn it off, bud. All right, so he's gonna turn it off now. All right, you can hear right there that um, that's going down to air conditioner off and that's back at idle speed so you can hear the difference. So we pulled off the, um, the, the main cover and discovered that the box for the capacitors was not large enough to fit the subco, uh, but we came up with a workaround for that. Um, we're installing this capacitor on the outside of the box. Um, the subco seems to be in a pretty well sealed plastic container, so I think it's fairly weatherproof, plus it's under the main cowling. We also discovered that most instructional video on YouTube was showing um, that air conditioners would have a run capacitor and a start capacitor. I guess we do not have a start capacitor in this unit. It's only a run capacitor. Okay, project is complete and at this point we've been through the on-off cycle and let it run for long enough that we're fairly convinced that at least in these temperatures um, this was a success. We're inside the trailer, we're set at 70. I've listened to it um, cycle through a few times and it seems to be cycling as smooth or maybe smoother than it ever has uh, in the past.